within the first eight days of our relationship being made public was when it said Harry's girl almost straight out of Compton and that her exotic DNA will be thickening the royal blood. We would get followed, photographed, chased, harassed. The clicking of cameras and the flashes of cameras makes my blood boil. It makes me angry. It takes me back to what happened to my mum, what I experienced when I was a kid. That's enough. But it went to a whole new depth with not just traditional media, but also social media platforms as well. I felt completely helpless. I thought my family would help, but every single ask, request, warning, whatever it is, just got met with total silence or total neglect. I then had a son who I'd far rather be solely focused on rather than every time I look in his eyes wondering whether my wife is going to end up like my mother and I'm going to have to look after him myself. That was one of the biggest reasons to leave. Feeling trapped and feeling controlled through fear, both by the media and by the system itself, which never encouraged the talking about this kind of trauma. But certainly now, I will never be bullied into silence. Do I have any regrets? Yeah, my biggest regret is not making more of a stance earlier on in my relationship with my wife and calling out the racism when I did. History was repeating itself. My mother was chased to her death while she was in a relationship with someone that wasn't white. And now look what's happened. You want to talk about history repeating itself? They're not going to stop until she dies. It's incredibly triggering to potentially lose another woman in my life. Like, and it all comes back to the same people, the same business model, the same industry. Isn't this all about breaking the cycle? Isn't this all about making sure that history doesn't repeat itself? That whatever pain and suffering has happened to you that you don't pass on?